Hi, babe. Hey. 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 How's your day? Good. Nice and chill. You? Yeah, good. It was nice to see Jack and John again. I haven't seen them in ages. Jim phoned earlier. He said that him and your gran went to go see your mum today. Did he say how she was? Yeah, no, she she was she was good. She was more chatty. She wasn't as tired or in as much pain. He asked if you're going to go see her at some point. She really wants to see you. I'm not sure. I'm really busy with uni. When was the last time you went to go see her? Maybe you should go see her tomorrow. I mean, you've got the day off free anyway. How many times have you been to see her since Christmas? Two? Three times? It's more. Well, how many then? I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Hey! Listen, I'm not trying to have a go at you. I just want to make sure that you see as much of your mum as you can. Go through and get some sleep. I'll be there in a minute. No. No. Babe? Josh? Stay in bed all day. What? Oh, <laughs> what's this for? I'm just so happy to see you. What are you doing here? Well, I'm making lunch. Why are you hungry? Uh, yeah, I could eat. Well, the kettle's just boiled. You make some tea. I get me on my chin. No, you're fine. Your hair. Oh, do you like it? I just got it done yesterday. Looks great. Oh, thanks. Right, come on. So how's Josh? I haven't seen him in a while. Are you two still okay? Of course. He's great. I can't remember being happier with him. Well, that's good. Because he's a nice boy and he's been good for you. Yeah, he has. He's really helped me out the past couple of years. <laughs> what? Do you remember that Christmas? There was just the three of us. There was you, me and your wee brother. And I think we just had moved to the house in Eastwood Road. Come on, Gav. Do a short portion of the picture. Oh, come on, Craig. Smile. Why did we decide to take pictures that day? I'm not sure. <laughs> Remember the pictures we took at Christmas dinner that day? Come on, Gavin, take a picture.
That was a good Christmas. Yeah, it was. Or oh, do you remember where I used to take you both when you were younger? It feels like ages since we've been here. I've actually been here a couple of times the last few years. Really? Mm hmm. With Nick. He used to walk his dog and just hang out. How is Nick? Do you still see him? Not really. Um, we had a bit of a falling out and he doesn't really talk to me anymore. Oh, you should try and fix things with him. Friends are important. I must not know how fond you were of him. I regret not reconnecting with Elaine these past few years. Mm. Okay, I will. I promise. Do you remember the day you told me you were gay? <laughs> Why did you decide to tell me? I'm not sure, really. I'd already put it off for long enough, so... Why did you put it off? Fear, I guess. I'm losing you. I'm just glad you told me. I'll always love you. No matter what happens. It really is lovely here. Do you know where we've not been in a while? We haven't come here on your birthday. Mm, maybe yours? Mm, I was just thinking about your 18th recently. Well, how come? I well, suppose I've got my desk of you, Gavin and I. The one your grand took. We went to few grand beauties. River life, wasn't it? Remember how much you thought it wasn't a good idea because you wanted to do someone more fancy for your grand's birthday? Yes, Mum. And whose idea was it? Yours, Mum. And didn't we have a great time? Yes, Mum. Did you appear a few photos that night too? And I got a really good one of you and Jim. Mum, Jim, smile. Shortbread, though. That's something we haven't done in a while. What's that? Nick. Sorry, Craig. For everything I put you through these last few months. Mum, you have nothing to apologise for. You've been sick. It's hardly your fault. I know, but it, it couldn't have been easy for any of you. I should be the one apologising. I haven't taken the time to come and see you as often as I should have. Listen, it must have been hard for all of you. I should still have made more of an effort. I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. You've had a lot to deal with while I've been ill. It can't have been easy. I'm just so glad you come over when you did. I love seeing you and hearing all about uni and all your friends. And Josh. <laughs> I'm so glad you have him. He's a good lad. It's been good for you. I'm just so glad you won't be alone after I'm gone. You're going 
granddad always liked that song. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too, Mum. again don't know where don't know where but I know we'll meet again some sunny day keep smiling through just like you always do till the blue sky Dry the dark clouds far away So will you please say hello To the folks that I know Tell them I won't be long They'll be happy to know That as you saw me go I was singing this song we meet again don't know where don't know when but i know we'll meet again some sunny day so will you please say hello to the folks that i know and tell them i won't be long They'll be happy to know that as you saw me go, I was singing this song. We will meet again.